Now, let's add a little variety. Suppose that you had two chocolate chip cookies and your friend had three chocolate chip cookies and you decided to put them all together to save them to have after supper. What have we got? Here's a problem where we're identifying the two that we have and the three that our friend has. And let's look at this in our Smiley Face edition. This is book one. This is the one with the brown cover. And here is this problem where I have two and my friend has three. And I'm just identifying this problem. Here it is, two plus three. Actually, I'm just practicing counting. And if you want, you can extend this book beyond just identifying the problem to, well, how many would we have if we put it all together? It would be five. For the younger children, you just do that out loud. For older ones, you might want to have them write it. So you get a double use out of these particular books. Notice that I built this problem, or uh, that's what I'm going to do first, or if I'm working with the child after they've seen it, then I'm going to say, will you get out this many? So down here, what are they going to do? They're going to get out this many, and they're just offset to make it easier to count, and they're also going to get out this many. How many do we have here? Five. And we're going to put with that two. Here it is. Maybe my friend had five marbles and I had two. And this is a picture of what we're going to do in the problem. We have a saying in Mortensen Math that what is the question is more important than what is the answer. Think about it. If you don't understand the question, how could you possibly figure out the answer? Sure, it's possible, but it's not very likely. The smiley face books are really directed toward this. You will see this in the addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. But as you proceed onward in these books, you will see that they do much, much more than that. But they do start the child out by identifying what is the question.